Hi guys, my name's Aaron, this is the tutorial series for Attack the Horde. Chapter 1, Part 1 Export and Setup So first we're going to look at Photoshop. So as you can see here we've got our ground texture, which is our biggest texture in the entire game. Um, I've got a few others here to show you, so we've got our water texture which we're going to put a panel on later on. We've got the texture that we use to create a shadow effect. As you can see here it's got an alpha channel. We also have our tree texture which will have an abundant mask and we also have a few of our UI icons and something for our particle effects as well. Let's look at Max. So here's my Max file and it has all of our assets in. As you can see here on the left, it's got the waterfall and the water. We have our two ground meshes here. Um, and I've laid out the bridges in the locations that they would need to be. That's not really required. And here you can see each of my meshes that we'll be exporting out separately as an FBX file. And as you can see here, I've used a multi sub object on some of the materials. Um, your objects may or may not need them, it's up to you on how they're built. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you quickly how to export these objects out so that they're ready to be put into UDK. So first I'm just going to check the levels, so make sure that it's, a, it's zero axis. Uh, with this one we want to make sure that the ground plane is on the origin line, so it's below or just on zero, and as you can see it is. So those are both fine. I'm going to go to File, Export, Export Selected. I'm then going to navigate to the Content folder, which you will find in my computer, UDK, UDK 2011 or whatever version you're using, UDK Game, Content. I'm then going to create a new folder called Horde Attack, which is the name of my game. Inside that, I'm going to create another folder called Viking Invasion which will be the name of my level and inside that I'm going to create three folders one called Mesh, one called Texture and one called UI. This is where all of our Mesh's textures will go and we'll be using this as a reference point in UDK. So now I'm going to go to my Mesh folder and I'm going to name my object Floor01 with no spaces and save it as an FBX file. Click save. Now I'm going to make sure that smoothing groups are ticked uh, and I don't need to worry about anything else. I need to make sure animation is unticked and I also need to make sure that the UI units are automatic and that's it. OK. Carry on. OK. And that object is now ready to be brought into UDK, imported in have materials dropped on it. I'm going to do this one more time just as demonstration purposes so I'm centering the object to zero, making sure that it's in the right place, then I'm going to click file, export, export selected with the object selected and I'm going to name it, make sure it's an FBX file, hit save, OK and then OK again. Now all you need to do is do the same thing for all of your meshes and now I'm going to go over how to get your textures in correctly. So firstly I'm going to save out my floor texture, I'm going to navigate to the texture folder that we just made, I'm going to make sure I save it as a targa and as it's a as it has no mask or alpha channel, we want to be saving that as a 24-bit image. Now this image has got an alpha channel in it. We want to make sure that we're saving it out as a 32-bit target. This will store the alpha channel and mean that we can use that channel later on when we're using it for the opacity.
and now I'm going to do the same thing for all of my textures and they will now be ready to be brought into UDK. In the next tutorial we're going to go over bringing these objects into UDK, setting up our own packages and getting the level ready.